running has changed so much over the years. Um, can you talk a little bit about that, where we, where we kind of started and where we are today? Yeah, so uh, that's, a, that's a great, great uh, question because running is not um, what it was uh, five years ago. It's certainly not what it was 15, 20 years ago. Um, it, the races have changed, the way you train for them, the equipment you use has, has certainly changed and evolved. It's still a very simple sport, but it, it has certainly gotten a little bit more uh, scientific with the training, some more, um, uh, more technology into the gear, uh, and, and the type of runner has changed uh, considerably. Uh, you stand at a finish line now, it's not that crazy, um, you know, high socks, uh, short, short guy. It's all shapes and sizes. It's uh, you know every everyone from uh, mom with her stroller to uh, you know to an 85 year old uh, finishing the race. So you have all all kinds of people uh, doing races. Whereby 20, 30 years ago that wasn't the case. Um, specifically, technology uh, such as such as shoes. I mean, here we have a a pair. Of, you mentioned Kipchoge. He wears this this same shoe uh, or has worn the same shoe to break uh, a number of records and and win a number of races. And um, this is right now considered the fastest shoe on the market. It's the, the Vaporfly um, Elite, and, uh, and this, this shoe barely weighs anything. I mean, it is, uh, it is a fairly light shoe. It's got a carbon fly fiber uh, plate inside, and uh, it, is, uh, it is an expensive shoe, but it's just to show you that, that now uh, things have, have changed considerably.